morning, and we want to say welcome to Pilgrim West Christian Baptist Church. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. We want to thank you for taking this time to join us on this morning, and we hope that something will be said or done to encourage you throughout the week. So we want to welcome all those who are watching us through Facebook Live, and we want to welcome our Pilgrim West family as well. Amen. So at this time, uh, without further ado, we will have the voices come with a selection. <coughs>
back. It is now time for our altar call. And on our heel list, we want to continue to remember Diane Lomax, who is at uh, South, Lake, I, South Lake ICU, the Riddles, <coughs> Brother Ross, Sister Gross, and Sandra Gross, Sister Dinah David, and Sister Sibley. And then for remit, we want to remember Evangelist Quita Terry uh, on the passing of her father. So we ask that you continue to keep all these names and those names that are not listed, we know. Just uh, remember them all. And again, we want to continue to remember our pastor and Lady Kim while they are away. We ask that you just continue to uh, pray for them that they have a relaxing time yes. and they come back refreshed this morning. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, we're glad that they were able to get away and get uh, some rest. So we ask that you just uh, continue to keep them in your prayers while they are gone this week. So at this time, uh, we're going to call Evangelist G to uh, lead us in prayer. Come Holy Spirit, come right now. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we just come loving you, Lord, and adoring you for all that you have done and all that you are about to do, oh God. Father God, we thank you for our early morning rise, oh God. We thank you for our late night light. Lord, we thank you, oh God, thank as you. we rose on this morning. Lord, no one had to feed us, bathe us, nor did they clothe us. And for thank that, oh God, we truly thank you. thank you. We thank you, oh God, that we have a reasonable portion of our activities of our lives, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, oh God, as we opened our eyes, oh God, and we saw the beauty of the Lord, oh God. We looked and we saw the trees swing and we heard the birds sing. And, and oh God, for that, we truly thank you. Oh God, we just thank you for the opportunity to just say thank you. Lord, we come asking for forgiveness for anything that we should have not said or done, oh God. Any places that we went that we should not have gone any place that we did not go that we should have gone. Yes. Lord, we thank you today for this opportunity to get it right, oh God. We thank you for just being God and God all by yourself, oh God. We thank you for sitting high and looking low, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that no one can get around you, oh God. We thank you that you hold the world of the, the what's in the world in your hands, oh God. Yes. Lord, we thank you that you don't need no help, oh God. Yes. We thank you for your grace, Lord. We thank you for your mercy on day to day, oh God. Yes. Lord, we come asking for strength for just for today, oh God. Yes. Lord, right now we just thank you, oh God. We thank you that you are all knowing and all seeing, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Just being God and God all by yourself. You created this world, oh God. You didn't need no help from none of us, oh God. And for that, we truly thank you today, oh God. Lord, we lift up our pastor and first lady right now, oh God. Lord, if you gave them this time of rest, oh God, let them joy enjoy one another. And Lord, let them not worry about what's going on here, oh God. Lord, let Pastor Adam know that you have left this church in capable hands right now. Understanding, 
oh God. Some don't know why, oh God, but you are the reason, oh God. So Lord, just, just pick their hearts right now, oh God, and let them know that you are God that makes no mistakes that you have it under control. Oh God, even in the midnight hours, oh God, as they, they torment, Lord Jesus, rock them in the, in the arms of your bosom right now, in the name of Jesus, oh God. You said that you will wipe their tears away, oh God, and for that we thank you, oh God. Lord, we trust you today, oh God. We trust you with every fiber of our being, oh God. We thank you today, oh God. Lord, we just ask that you just remember the sick, oh God. You know the names, oh God, that have been laid before you. We lay them at your feet right now, oh God. We just ask that you remember them in a special way, oh God. Lord Diane, I call her out right now, Father God. I call her out right now. Touch her right now as only you can, oh God. Touch her, heal her body right now, right now, Father God. As only you can, oh God. Lord, I'm so reminded of the woman with the issue of blood, oh God. That she pressed her way, oh God. She pressed her way believing that you would, Lord Jesus. And she can just touch the hem of your garment, Lord. That she would be made whole. So, oh God, right now with the name of Jesus. Lord, we believe it right now that you can touch Diane right now. Lord, we believe it right now, oh God, that you can raise her up right now. Lord, we believe it right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that you can do this as only you can, oh God. And we thank you, oh God. We just ask that you just remember the others, oh God, the name that was called, oh God. We, we believe, oh Lord God. We know that you can and we believe that you will, oh God. Just you know each and every situation, oh God. You know each and every desire, oh God. Just touch, heal, and deliver right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for Brother Ross right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you know his situation right now, oh God. Lord, I ask that you just breathe through him right now. Breathe for him right now. Breathe over him right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, oh God. And we thank you, oh God. We bless your name today. And Lord, I just ask that you just remember the waiting congregation, oh God. You know what each and every individual stands in the need of right now, oh God. Lord, I ask that you just grant it up to them, oh God, if it be your will, oh God. Some are going through, oh God. It may be health, oh God. Lord, it may be strength. It just may be a word, Lord, of an encouragement right now in the name of Jesus. But Lord, do it, I ask. Do it in your own way, oh God, as only you can, Lord Jesus. And we thank you today, oh God. We ask that you just remember those that are on their way right now in the name of Jesus. See them safely toward from their destinations right now in the name of Jesus. And we will be ever so careful to give your name to pray. But Lord, before I end this prayer, oh God, I ask that you just remember the nation right now, oh God. Lord, we are living in perilous times right now, oh God. But you are the author and the finisher of our existence right now, oh God. So Lord, we just lay this at your feet today, oh God. Lord, we know that you can do it, oh God. Right now in the name of Jesus. And we will be ever so careful to give your name the praises. These and other things we pray in your daughter's son, Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. amen.
before on Facebook Live, we greet you. We want to thank the voices for their selection. to make way 
for a life of trusting in God. That's right. And when you do that, you won't have to struggle so much to make life work. Yeah. Yes, sir. See, trust is found in the Bible 188 times. Ooh. First, we see it offers the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord, Psalms 4 and 5. O Lord, my God, in thee I put my trust, Psalms 7 and 1. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust, Psalms 16 and 1. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness, Psalms 31 and 1. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Psalms 56 and 1. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Psalms 91 and 2. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. Proverbs 3 and 5. Just to name a few. But today as we look at our text, the Lord is not a disinterested engineer who would wound up the world and let it unwind on its own. He is transcendent and mindful of the cares and concerns of his people. Therefore, those who know his name put their trust in him. They are assured that God not only cares, but they are in pain. See, David notes that God is with his people, not only just when everything is going smoothly. He is even there when trials buffet them. And in Psalms 23, David testifies that the Lord is his shepherd. He is David's shepherd when he makes him lie down in the green pastures or leads him beside still waters. The Lord is also David's shepherd in the valley of the shadow of death. David fears no evil because the Lord is with him. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrews 13 and 5 says, assures believers that the Lord will never forsake them. Mm -hmm. In Psalms 9, 9 through 20, it turns David's attention to various groups of people of Israel. He mentions the oppressed, those who trust in the Lord, the afflicted, the needy, and the poor. He sees the Lord as a safe place a secure place, a God who is mindful of his people, and the supplier of hope to the poor. So who will you trust? There should not be a day of our life that we don't trust God. We should trust the Lord every day. We should trust him because he won't hurt us. No matter what we go through in life, we can always trust God. God will have your back no matter what goes down. Mm -hmm. God stands right be beside us when something goes down. Yeah. He won't run mm -hmm. and hide when something is about to go down. Yeah. He will always fight our battles yeah. for us. Yeah. All you have to do is call on God yeah. and he will answer. Yeah. So who will you trust today? God. When you need God, just call him up. God will answer and come to your rescue every time. God will never let you fight without him when you call on him. Who will you trust today? We should always trust God. When we trust in God, we can't go wrong. Trusting in God is the best thing we can do in our life. God protects us when we trust in him. Who will you trust? We can trust God to protect us at all times. God won't let anything happen to us when we put our trust in him. So who will you trust today? God protects us 24-7 when we trust him for it. God will deliver us when we trust in him. We can trust God to deliver us from anything. God will make sure we get to where we want to go. If we trust God, we don't need to worry about anything. So who will we trust? See, when we trust in God, our life becomes a lot easier. If we trust in God, we have less stress. We have less stress because God removes the mess. So who will you trust today? 
God wants us to trust in him. And he wants us to be stress free. God won't let anything happen to us when we trust in him. So who will you trust today? God will always keep us safe when we trust in him. God is our shield and protector when we trust him. So who will you trust today? God is our shield and protector when we trust in him. God won't let any hurt, harm, or danger come our way when we trust in him. God will make sure we get to where we want to go. God has a plan for every last one of us. So who will we trust today? None of us have the same mission as the person next to us. Wherever our mission may be, God will get us there safely. So who will you trust today? See, trusting God brings a supernatural rest to our souls, allowing us to live simply and freely the way he wants us to live. So even when it doesn't make sense, trust God. But the question remains today, who will you trust when the bills are due? Who will you trust when the doctor gives you a bad report? Who will you trust when you're down to your last dime? Who will you trust when friends turn their backs on you? Who will you trust in that church? Well, I'm going to trust Jesus. My rock in a weary land. My shelter in a time of storm. My bridge over troubled water. I'm going to trust Jesus today. My doctor in a sick room. I'm going to trust Jesus. For he's my bread when I'm hungry. I'm going to trust Jesus. He's water when you're thirsty. I'm going to trust Jesus. He's a bridge over troubled water. See, I'll trust Jesus. He's my Alpha and Omega. I'll trust Jesus. He's my beginning and my end. I'll trust Jesus today because he's my way maker. I'll trust Jesus. He's my company keeper. I'll trust Jesus. He's my hope for tomorrow. I'm going to trust him because A, he is almighty. B, he's my bright and morning star. C, he's Christ all by himself. D, he is divine. I'm going to trust Jesus because he, he, he is my everything. F, he's my forgiver. G, he's God, only God, his son. I'm going to trust Jesus because H, he is my healer. I, he is immortal. I'm going to trust Jesus because J, he's joy in the time of trouble. K, he's the king of kings. L, he is Lord of Lord. Jesus. He is my master. He is me now and forever. He's oh, he's omnipresent. I'm going to trust Jesus today because he, he is powerful. You, he quiets my soul. Or he is the road to share. I'm going to trust Jesus today because S, he is my savior. G, he is triumphant. You, he understands all my needs. I'm going to trust Jesus. He is victorious. W, he is wonderful. X, he is excellent. Y, he is a love destroyer. And Z, he is there. See, I'm going to trust Jesus. I'm going to trust the one that assures me that my God shall supply all my needs. I'm going to trust the one that assures me that now was the him who is able to keep me from God. I'm going to trust in him because he's the one that assures me that when mother and father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. I'm going to trust in the one that lets me know that I can put my trust in him. I'm going to trust in the one that let me know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I'm going to trust in the one that lets me know that joy comes in the morning. Lord, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm going to trust in the one that lets me know that yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I don't have to fear no evil, for he is with me. I'm going to trust in the one that lets me know that he is my shepherd, and I don't have to want for anything. I'm going to trust in the man who died on the old rugged cross. I'm going to trust in the one who had nails in his hands. Laid a peg in his feet. I'm going to trust in the one who hung on that cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. I'm going to trust in the one who was buried in the 
borrow man's tomb. Stay in the grave all night Friday, all day Saturday, all night Saturday. But that was not the conclusion to his story. It was early Sunday morning. than the one that said, and I, yes, why be lifted up from the earth, no power I will get up to me. He got up with all power shut up in his hands, power to love, power to heal, and power to trust. Man, faith, and will let you down. But know that God, we have a God. We can put our trust in, and he won't never let us down or fail us. Trust in him when you can't trace him. Trust in him when times are hard. Who will you trust today? I will trust in the Lord until I die. But before I take my seat, I have five reasons I will trust God. Number one, he's good. Number two, he's good. Number three, he's good. Number four, he's good. And number five, he is good. So who will you trust today? I will trust in the Lord. I will trust Him. I will. Even though I can't see Him. And I can't feel Him. I will trust you, Lord. How much I love you so much. Though my nights may seem long. And I feel so alone. Lord, my trust is in you. And I surrender to you, Lord. So many painful thoughts travel through my mind. And I wonder how I will make it through this time. But I'll trust you. Lord, it's not easy. Sometimes the pain in my life makes it seem far away. But I will trust you. I need to know you're there. Through the tears and the pain, through the heartache and the rain, I will trust you, Lord. Everything that I see tells me not to believe. But I will trust you, Lord. You have never failed me. My past still controls me. Will this hurt ever leave me? I can only trust you. No one else like you today. I can, I will, and I must trust you, Lord. I know God will make a way somehow. I will place my trust in God. Even when it doesn't make sense to me, I will choose to trust God. So who will you trust today? I will trust Jesus. For he will and never let me down. He is the lifter of my head. We have to trust him in all situations today. Because some glad morning when this life is over, we're going to all fly away to be with God today. So trust God today, people. No matter what you're going through, your report may not be good from the doctor, but trust God today. He is a way maker. He is here whenever you need him. Just trust God today, yeah. and he will see you through. Some people may be battling with some illness, but trust God. He is that doctor. You may be fighting a situation with the courts, but trust God. He is a lawyer in the courtroom. Trust God today when mother and father had to leave, because he will be a mother and father for you. So trust God today, my family, and watch him work in your life. Yeah. God bless you this morning. At this time, we are sending an invitation to the side of the There may be someone who's watching us don't know Jesus, or you may be searching for a church home today. We invite you to come by letter, Christian Experience, Wake Candidate for Baptism. And if you're seeking prayer, you can call the church at 219-944-7960 or the pastor at 219-201-5676. We extend to you the invitation today. Come what may. Amen.
Who will you trust? Amen. Amen. Bless you. Thank you, Reverend Fox. Say it may not be long, but it was strong. We hope that the word went forth and that it can encourage you through this week. No matter what you may face tonight, just trust God. Because He will. And he won't let you down. He'll see you through. Amen. So again, we thank you for your time. And we will uh, go to our announcements very quick. Since we still have time. <laughs> you know, I'm not alone with this pastor. <laughs> we thank God. And we encourage everyone to join us on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And the uh, number is listed in our uh, program in the bulletin today. So we encourage everyone to just uh, join us on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We have a good time. Amen. And, uh, Amen. Okay. So, and you don't have to come down. That's the right. Be on your phone, man. Dial that number and pray. And enjoy the message. Amen. Amen. But good morning, uh, Women Fellowship will meet briefly in the choir stand following morning worship. Please plan to meet us. Thank you, Ministry Leader Sister Lucas. Amen. And our, uh, from the, uh, from the Blind Social Center, 7th Annual 2022 Fundraiser Walkathon, Walking the Oak Savannah Bike Trail, 52nd in Madison, Gary, Indiana, Saturday, July, 23rd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Registration is $40. T-shirts included. Shedding light on blindness. And again, this will be this this Saturday. Yes. Amen. Amen. Time is going back quick. This is the 23rd. But it will be this Saturday, the 23rd, and that's 52nd in Madison, the walk, walking the Oak South uh, Savannah Bike Trail. Amen. Uh, from the Gethsemane Missionary Baptist Church, dear Pastor Charles Adams, uh, Gethsemane Missionary Baptist Church Youth Revival, July 20th through the 22nd. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We, the youth and young adults of Gethsemane Missionary Baptist Church, invite the youth of your church to participate in our youth revival program scheduled for July 20th through the 22nd from 6 a.m. to, I'm sorry, from 6 p.m. to 6, 8 p.m at our church, which is located at 1095 Jackson Street. We would like the youth to showcase their God-given talents. We're requesting your choir to render two selections. The theme of our youth revival is Remember Now Thy Creator in the Days of Thy Youth, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Amen. Our church family is, family is looking forward to worshiping with, you, with your church family to make this a glorious event. May God bless and keep you with our prayer. And Reverend James Clark will be the uh, speaker for that um, today, July uh, 20th. So we ask that you just keep that in, in mind. Amen. So those are our announcements for the week. We ask that you just continue to come in. And we ask that you uh, continue to keep Pastor and Lady Kim in your prayers. Like I said earlier, they were able to get away and vacate. <laughs> Amen. 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 So uh, I talked to Pastor Adams this morning, so they made it to their location. Amen. They can tell you where they at when they get back. So. <laughs> but we ask that you just uh, keep them in prayer and that they have a good vacation. Amen. And they come back relaxed and rested. So. Just keep them lifted up, and please don't bother them. Amen. Amen. Let them enjoy their vacation. Amen. So, amen. They need it. Because we know pastors have been going nonstop. But that is all. But we want to say to our Facebook family, we thank you for joining us this uh, Sunday. And we pray that 
something was said, something was done to encourage you for the week. And we ask that you, those who are not on our page, we ask that you like our Facebook page under the Building of Missionary Baptist Church. And as we close, we say the blessings of the Lord be upon you. It is our prayer. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.